Hi guys, this is Dawn with Fantastic Friends, and today I'm coming to you with another recipe. Today we're going to be making sausage and apple stuffed acorn squash. Mmm, man, I cannot wait for this because I love acorn squash. Yes, I sure do. And normally, I make my acorn squash by just baking it in the oven with a little butter and brown sugar. So when I came across this recipe, I knew I had to try it. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you what the ingredients are. Now, I'm going to give you the full list of ingredients, but Miss Dawn is going to do a half recipe. So... I'm going to list the ingredients, but if you notice that I'm using less than what I'm um, listing to you, that's because I'm going to be doing a half recipe. So the ingredients are three acorn squash, olive oil, salt and pepper, one pound of ground sausage, one small onion finely diced or chopped, two large celery stalks finely chopped. Now you'll notice I omitted the celery because I do not like cooked celery. Two apples finely diced, a half a teaspoon of sage, one cup of breadcrumbs that can be panko or I happen to have Italian on hand and one cup of Parmesan cheese and you're going to need to divide that and that would be one quarter cup for at the end of the recipe and three quarters of a cup for mixing into the stuffing that goes into the acorn squash. Okay so Let's get started. Okay, guys. Let's get started making our sausage and apple stuffed acorn squash. Now, the first thing I did was I washed my squash. The next thing we got to do is we got to prep our squash because we're going to bake them for a little while before we stuff them. The first thing you're going to want to do is cut a small piece off each end of your acorn squash because then when we slice it in half that's going to be the end that sits on the bottom of the pan so that they sit flat while they're baking okay so I've already gone ahead and done one side let me go ahead and do this side and you want to do just a very small piece you don't want to do too much And acorn squashes are very hard. See, just a little bit. Just so that they sit flat in the pan. So let me go ahead and do my other squash. And I'll be right back. Okay, guys. I've gone ahead and taken a piece off the end of each of my acorn squash. So that they, once you cut them in half, they'll sit flat in the pan. And now I've gone ahead and cut my acorn squash in half. Now what you want to do is that you want to, you've got to clean out your squash. So you've got to scrape out all of the membrane and the seeds. And I'm just going to do it in a bowl here, and then I'll dump it into the garbage. Unless you're someone who likes to toast pumpkin seeds, then by all means save them and do that. But I don't, so. Okay, there you go. And that is what you do. You clean them out. And we're going to get them ready for baking. So let me go ahead and finish my acorn squash. And I'll be back. 
Okay guys, I've got my acorn squash all ready to go and I've got them in my pan. Now what you want to do is you want to take a little olive oil and you want to brush your acorn squash really well. And once you've really uh, got them coated well with the olive oil, you're going to sprinkle them with a little salt and pepper. Then you're going to put them in a preheated 400 degree oven. And we're going to bake them. For about... 30 to 40 minutes. It all depends on the size of your acorn squash. If they're really big, I'd probably say about 40 minutes. If they're on the smaller side, then, you know, stick closer to the 30 minutes. Because we are going to bake them a second time once we fill them with the sausage and apple mixture. Okay, <clears throat> and now I have my salt and pepper. So now I'm going to throw these in the oven for 40 minutes and while these are baking I'm going to start on my sausage and apple um, stuffing that we're going to put these in while these are baking. Okay I'll be right back. Okay guys now we're going to work on our filling for our acorn squash. And that is, first we're going to cook our sausage, which I've now put into my pan. And I only have a half a pound in here because, like I said, I'm doing a half a recipe instead of a whole recipe. And what you want to do is you want to fully cook um, and brown your sausage. And then you want to remove it from the pan to a um, plate or bowl or something where um, you can drain the excess uh, grease off of your sausage. But do not remove the grease from the pan. All you want to do is lift your sausage out and leave whatever grease is in the pan there because that's what we're going to use to cook our onions and all the other ingredients, the apples and everything in. I wish you could see little Bobo right now. He's right off camera right here because my desk is right next to the stove. And I have the windows cracked right now because it's very breezy today. I mean, it's still pretty warm outside, but it's pretty breezy. And the windows have not been cracked in a while. So I figured I would let them have some fresh air time. And of course, that's where they all are. 
everybody has a window. The other cats are in the family room. Everybody's in a window where they can stick their little noses out. And Baba has chosen this window over here. So he can chillax and watch Mama cook. Ooh, I might have to go get me a chair. I haven't been feeling good the last couple of days. But I already had this recipe scheduled to film, so I had to do it regardless. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and let this brown up, and I'm going to pause the video to let this finish cooking, and let me go get a chair because uh, I cannot stand for very long today. My fibromyalgia and arthritis and everything is hitting me all at once these last few days. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, my sausage is all browned and I spooned it out of my pan. And I now, I left the grease in the pan, but now I want to move on to my next step, and that is to brown my onions. And I just want to saute them really quick. And then I want to add my apples, which I have already diced. And I have them sitting in a little bit of lemon water because I didn't want them to brown. So I need to go ahead and drain those real quick. I love the way onions smell when they've been sautéing. Okay, it looks like I don't have enough oil from the sausage, so I'm going to add just a drop of olive oil. The recipe says that you might need a tad more oil. <clears throat> if you don't have enough <clears throat> yeah okay yeah because the pan was getting too dry okay now I'm gonna add in my apples and if you notice they're not brown because I had them soaking in a little bit of lemon water while they were sitting to the side waiting to be put in the pan. Now, while I was reading the reviews on this recipe, one of the things that um, people were saying was that the recipe says you can use whatever apple you want, you know, whatever your preference is. So a lot of people used 
the apples they like to eat, which would be a sweet apple, like, you know, Red Delicious, Gala. And they said that that apple was actually too sweet for this recipe. So, I followed their recommendations and went with a Granny Smith apple. So that way, it would not... Uh, it would not end up being too sweet. Okay, now you want to saute your onions and apples just like two or three minutes at the most. Now, because I split this recipe in half, I might not have enough filling for four halves. Because by splitting it in half, I should only have enough filling for three halves. But we'll see. If I don't, then I can save that other half and make my usual um, acorn squash recipe with that. Okay, now you want to sprinkle in your sage. And your breadcrumbs. think it might be a little dry so I'm adding just a tad more olive oil And add in your Parmesan. and your sausage.
Okay, guys, our filling is done. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. Now all I gotta do is wait for the acorn squash to be done. And when that buzzer goes off, I'll be back to stuff our acorn squash. Okay guys, I pulled my acorn squash out of the oven and I did actually have enough filling to fill all four halves because I guess my acorn squash were kind of on the small side. So now I'm going to take that last little bit of Parmesan cheese, sprinkle that on the top. And now I'm going to finish baking it for another 15 to 20 minutes. And when that's done, I'll be back. Okay, guys, they're done. And I've let them rest for about 10 minutes. So I'm about to, I'm about to take one out and make me a plate. Let's see how they are. Okay, it definitely came out pretty, and it smells good. I'm about to go in for a taste, so give me just a second. Okay, guys, here we go. Oh, yeah. That is yummy. Well, I mean, I already knew I was going to like it because I love acorn squash. And, of course, I love sausage. I love apple. I love Granny Smith. I love onion. So, I, I kind of feel I had a feeling I was going to love it. Next time, though, I mean, because this was my first time making it. Um, and uh, you probably should have used... Italian sausage. I used whatever I already had in my freezer. So um, I probably used a sausage that was a little too lean. So next time I will make the effort to have some sweet Italian sausage or some chicken sausage or something to make this the next go around. But other than that, I'm about to chow down, and I'm about to eat every bite of this as soon as I'm done filming this. So, if you're new to my channel, I hope you subscribe, and as always, love, hugs, and kitty kisses! Bye, guys.